Hey, are you allowed to celebrate uh, where you guys are at, being that uh, your highest ranking in school history, or do you not even acknowledge and you move on? I would say the latter. Yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, it's great for the program. It is, and it's good uh, to put it out there for recruiting. But within our, we haven't talked about it at all, to be honest. Really? Yeah. It was funny. Someone sent a gift yesterday, and the card said number six. Go Jays or something like that, and the players were like, "This is for Jaya. This isn't for us." They hadn't put together that it was actually in reference to them being Jay ranked. Like, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jay is like, "I'll take everything." <laughs> did you did you learn anything you didn't know in Lawrence with the just just kind of the resolve they had and a couple of dominant wins? I wouldn't say there wasn't it wasn't things that I didn't know. I thought we were better from the outset, which was our biggest priority going into the weekend, and we did a better job of that. And then we'd, we needed more parity. We were uh, kind of a three-horseman person for a couple games, and we got more production out of all five of our hitters. So that those were two big priorities, and i like to see us that we executed in that. Did those go hand in hand, or was there something else? You, when we talked last week, you said you were still trying to put your finger on it, the quick starts. Were, yeah. Did those go hand in hand, the parity and the starts? Um, I think that's part of it, but I do think, I think we were just more aggressive with all aspects of our game. We specifically talked about serving. Um, we talked about making some defensive play or, plays early. I thought we were slow getting into the rhythm of the match um, against both Louisville and Nebraska, and I thought we did a better job uh, against Purdue and KU on that. Hey, Coach, what's your message to the team now as you shift focus into Big East play? Any, any kind of difference there or just now that, now that they start to matter a little bit in terms of the conference standings? Yeah, no, I think we always take a season in three segments. And so I told them they had a, a great first segment, basically. And now we enter a rigorous, a grueling Big East schedule from travel to I always say October is like the month that seasons are made or broken, so we talk about that. So, um, and then we, we're the target, we're the hunted as compared to doing some hunting in the, in the preseason. So, uh, yeah, we approach it differently in some respects. Um, so we're getting ready for each weekend's opponents, but we're also focused on making sure that we're improving each week for, you know, the long-term goals in the tournament. Does it take some adjusting, though, from, from kids to go from, you know, you guys are trying to knock off some teams with single digit rankings and now you guys are the ones that are going to make or break somebody's season. Yeah, um, I, I do think it kind of does. I think it's a different mental mindset. Uh, you know, you have to show up every single night um, because everyone's good enough to beat you. And, you know, and if you don't put your best game out, you can get knocked off, give a team some confidence, they're playing on house money. And so um, I do think it is a different mental mindset. And, and we talk about it. We've got a pretty mature team, and they understand the ramifications of every match. So I anticipate that they will respond to that. But, yeah, it is a little different. Was it exciting for you to see the recognition that Kendra got nationally? Yeah, well, well deserved. Um, you know, I think – we know how good Kendra is. I think a lot of people around the country know how Kendra, how good Kendra is. I, I will say I sent her a text yesterday. I don't really bring that stuff up in practice, so I, and I don't usually actually acknowledge it with a text either. But I did send her a text, and she said uh, the best part of the weekend was getting the wins. You know, so again, you know, not a me-centric kid, a, a team team-centered kid. If you don't usually do it, why did you do it in this instance with her reach out? Well, it's only the third time in Creighton history that we've had a national player of the week. So, uh, you know, that's different. It's, it's you know, I, Big East coaches, it's not, you know, it's not just about her. It's, it's a great representation of our program, our league. You know, all those things are positive. How cool was it for you to see Ava, Kendra, Jaya, everybody just kind of get the love in front of a home crowd? Kind yeah, I, you know, a lot of those guys, especially, you know, Kendra's a senior, have been on my on me to get to KU and so I've been you know and I'm good friends with the Kansas coach and you know we'd been talking and I said I got to get Kendra back Ray so uh so that was fun and then obviously Ava Ava had a shirtless crew of about five guys that were cheering for her and then obviously uh Jay and Ava T-Strake so it was fun for those guys to be back and and for all of them to perform so well was fun did you get what you wanted out of the offseason was it kind of what you were expecting better Yeah, I think I think we're playing good volleyball. I liked how I thought we got better throughout it. I thought we learned a lot of things, um, and that's got to be the objective as we go into the Big East. Of you know, we still have a lot of areas we got to get better at, and uh, you know, lean into the things we're doing well, hone those things. But then, where can we continue to get better? Cool. Cool. Good to see everybody. Thanks, Thanks guys.